Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Army is now looking for possibilities of deploying new age disruptive technologies like artificial intelligence which will help Indian soldiers in difficult terrains to deal with different types of threats. For future warfare, it is looking at AI technology which will alert soldiers of mine laden fields and robots to help in defusing them. Recently, it was reported that Indian Army is set to conduct trials of indigenously developed artificial intelligence enabled unmanned all terrain vehicles in Ladakh for surveillance and logistic operations. Trials will also be held in deserts in Rajasthan before Army selects a final product and goes for large scale acquisition. One of the vehicles to undergo trial is Kalyani E cars. The vehicle was one of the 75 products that were on display at Defence Ministry's first AI Symposium in Delhi on Monday. eCars or Enhanced Collaborative Autonomous System is a four-wheel ATV with skid steer mechanism designed to perform surveillance, security and rescue missions in collaborative engagements. The 6x6 version of the vehicle was earlier showcased in Defence Expo 2018 and 2020 as well. It is a type of unmanned ground vehicle which offers enhanced collision avoidance system, threat analysis and missions planning. It is designed to perform surveillance, security and rescue missions in collaborative engagements. The vehicle is equipped with a video motion sensor which enables it to operate autonomously. It also features many sensors such as positioning, mapping, path planning and obstacle detection that makes it capable to operate under all type of terrain. Its all-terrain and amphibious design make it suitable for operating under various conditions and geography. It can climb slopes of 45 degree maximum under temperature ranging from minus 40 to plus 40 degrees Celsius. The vehicle can reach up to 20 km per hour when manually driven or 10 to 15 km per hour in autonomous missions. E-cars can operate up to 24 hours continuously when operating on battery and generator or just 6 hours continuously in silent mode that is only on battery. Following the local operational parameters, the operator can select Wi-Fi or radio frequency to pilot the vehicle. The UJV has an operational range of 3 km and can carry a payload of up to 500 kgs. Additionally, it can carry day and night cameras which can monitor till a range of 2 km. The vehicle will be quite useful to carry ammunition and other logistics especially in hostile environment. The UJV will be also deployed for explosive detection and neutralization of improvised explosive devices IED. It has already undergone trials with infantry and armor units of Indian Army. Now, Kalyani has developed two versions of this vehicle, which is E Cars 4x4 and E Cars 6x6. Interestingly, the 6x6 configuration can be weaponized with a remote controlled weapon station RCWS with a 12.7 mm machine gun. The vehicle is easy to control, economical and low maintenance making it an ideal choice for army to patrol on tough terrains of LSE. Apart from Kalyani e-car, the other vehicles under consideration includes one built by Taurus Robotics. It has payload of 750kg and has been developed with state-run BEML Limited. Army is also working towards adopting Trishul. This is again an AI-enabled and remotely operated weapon station and has capability to direct weapons and fire automatically detect human movement. It can engage targets at 300 meters and with 100% probability of first round hits. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.